All right, folks, the deck is Amalgam Shaman. The goal of the deck is to play as many different minion types as possible in the early game. We've got things like Mistake, as well as Amalgam of the Deep, to pair with the usual package of different Murlocs in Shutterwalk Shaman so that we can build a wide sticky board with Scargill into Rockgill. Eventually working our way towards one Amalgam Band, which will generate a lot of different buffs, as well as prime our Shutterwalk with those same buffs. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. Watch this! You have us pivoted to Marvel Snap though, right? Yeah, but a lot of those people like are now just doing the same thing but with Marvel Snap content, right? And this isn't a complaint. Like I don't have any ambition or desire to stream other games is another really big part of it. Like what about what I want to do? <laughs> I want to just stream Hearthstone. Thanks everyone for coming along with me for the Hearthstone stuff. This is now a novelty cake channel. Today, Martin Shkreli flavored wedding cake. Oh god, it tastes like... Tastes like greed, I guess. You play Elden Ring off stream, yes. But I think what people fail to understand is playing a game on stream and creating content around it is very, very, very different than like playing a game for leisure. Uh, Lothab, good in this matchup and pretty important. Or follow disguised toast and just stream among us. Okay, now we're just actively <laughs> sugge making suggestions to kill the channel. Is that what? Is that? Is that the goal? <laughs> Thank you, Isaac. People tend to watch interesting character or interesting content. One of those options usually. Yeah, yeah. I don't have interesting character, so I try to make interesting content. <laughs> I have to have important space for the Lothab next turn so I can't play anything. I just find your style fun and would love to see you having a bigger success as a streamer. I mean, I would already, like, I'm con I'm happy with my success as a streamer as it is, though. I don't know. Having a massive stream is, sounds stressful to me. Especially when there's no guarantee that I would be a successful streamer if I played other games and then so you're like there's an inherent risk involved in that I see. by my calculations you need to chill out that's bad I feel like insinuating he's not progressing well enough with Hearthstone is kind of insulting. I mean, to an extent, maybe. I don't think that's the intention. Jeez. But there is an element of that. Like, I don't know. Very few people in this world get to play a video game for a living, and that's what I get to do. I would consider that a pretty big success. But Ruffle, think of all the holiday integrations in Elden Ring. For our birthday you can stream the Fire Giant, Red Cross Day could be mode. Mother's and Father's Day are both Radigan, easy. 
I mean, with Mother's Day right around the corner, that's perfect. Now you're talking. Thank you, Kali. <laughs> Sorry, drop, <laughs> accidentally dropped my box of ear-shattering crunch. Yeah, I hate when that happens. <laughs> my god. That was unreal. Oh, so it's now. To be a successful YouTuber, start a rap career. Yeah, that's how that worked out well for, well, like, I could be the next Jake Paul, right? Everybody would, would love that. So what we need in this world is, a, is another Jake Paul. It offered all different amalgams, did it? I wasn't actually paying that close of attention, but there aren't very many quill bores, so I suppose that's not terribly unlikely to happen. You could always stream in a bunny suit to increase viewership. Bonus if you wear a magic hat. Yeah, we could just bite all of... Uh all of Doug Doug's stream. That would be perfect. Thank you, Isaac. I mean, chat, this chat is already insane enough for that. Alright, if we don't die here, I feel like we're in a pretty good spot because we get to uh, get the Shutterwalk into the Macaws. We have plotted long enough. Now we rise! They're gonna get horny here. I actually kind of want to clear some of this board off. Just to make way for the, uh... Some of my board off, that is. To make more space for the shadow up. But I think this probably closes out the game with the birds in hand. Uh-oh. Oh, God. The birds are gone. That's not good. Snicker snack! Uh, yeah, that Finley was a bit of an oof, wasn't it? I didn't pay attention to my hand for the sake of the uh, position of the macaws as well. Or to the top? I don't think so, but I can't remember. And either way, even if it is, it's no longer. <laughs> Uh, the queued up because it's the flying fish is there. Wait, they got that out of the infinitize? That makes them infinite with the raw math. Who knows what secrets will uncover? We have plotted long enough. Now switching to yen is kinda like getting free super chats. 500 yen is three dollars, but I get a five dollars super chat, so just move to Japan for free super chats. Yeah, it's that simple. It's that simple. Just move to Japan, forehead. We're gonna have some fun. My claws that bite. My claws that bite. Seven 
I'm gonna block the uh, raw map if I can. Probably go ahead and leave a spot on board here. You can count on me. I'm it doesn't mean they can't raw math this turn. I think they're infinite and I think we die. Assuming they have the raw math though. They have shuffled a lot of cards in their deck and haven't drawn a whole lot. Okay. That no longer allows for a um, guaranteed raw math. In fact, it becomes a liability. <laughs> Keep the ice fishing and the scargill uh, for when we hit the cookie. Not the cookie, the clam fish. Curious, why did you cut Grumble? Is it bad? It's very bad in this deck. We don't. We want to leave the shutters on board for big damage, ah, not pick them back I up. What's your favorite board? Mine is Festival of Leg. Uh, I don't really have a favorite, but I do enjoy the, um... Let's see your leg, man. Uh, I do enjoy the Grand Char Tournament, uh, board, because I like the guys with the signs over here. Our gift of the Thank you, Isaac. Enlightens us. I could go Amalgam into Totem, even if they clear this. I thought my deck had some weird cards in it. <laughs> Come on, man! It can't be that easy. That, that's just not fair. to the Jailer. No avoiding legend now. <laughs> uh, yeah, no better card for avoiding legend than the jailer. Thank you, uh, industrials. Six nine. Nice. Pick me, pick me. Oof. That's a good Nagalane. Of course it's the right way. We just saw the devolve, so I feel okay about this. Uh, I just want to force a response here so I have the time to go Gorlock. So if 
pretty slow turn. Where did that even come from? Better than a it. We have drawn a lot of cards already, and I still have another Gorlock. Considered leaving a slot open for Lotha, but like if they're not if they're not developing here, that's just fine. If I don't have anything to trade into, that means they don't have anything for me to trade into. The opponent sure does have a quest in their deck. We can see how effective it is for them so far. There are only 13 quill boards available for Shaman. I mean, that's not that much fewer than there would be for other classes, right? There just aren't that many quill boards in the game. What's opponent cooking? Power. Hey, you real and I would like to know if you like Avenge Sevenfold. Uh, I mean, I haven't listened to them since, well, yeah. their first or second album. Uh, I liked old uh, Avenge Sevenfold way in there, and like the post-hardcore metal phase or whatever. Leave none standing. I sounded like the hipster card there. <laughs> but that was not my intention. Kind of feel like it's a good idea to have. It is wisdom you lack. Um a way to block all of those spells they just generated. My hand is too full. Or that spell that they are going to draw. We're gonna be rich. The end is close. My jaws that Oh my god. Alright. Quest is helping them so much. I mean, it gave them a bunch of uh, spells that they can never play. Expensive hex, but they keep them alive. I'll make you a real Imagine they're trying to hit the shutter here. My hand is too full. But I don't think that they have. They're probably just trying to find Snowball here. Is that unnerfed anti magic shell? I mean, it's just 
I wouldn't say it's necessarily nerfed, it's just the Lich King version of it. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Good opener, especially if we can find a clownfish to prime the Gorlock. What I've learned is sometimes you've just got to roll the hard sixes. That's why I will be li buying lottery tickets with my retirement savings. <laughs> Best of luck to you on that. Can't, can't win if you don't play, right? But also, you can't win if you do play. But nobody ever mentions that part. Wait, why am I killing him? No reason for that. I was being a silly goose. That I want to kill, though. Do so, unless I hit both Flurgle and Toxic for this, which absolutely would be worth it. There's the Yaz base. That was weird. I guess they needed to overload themselves, so do they not have anything else worth playing here? Let's end with the Lotheb in case we hit a brilliant macaw. Why did Diamond Zola? Why Diamond Zola doesn't give you a diamond copy of your Diamond Lotheb because of the words that are on Zola? Um, so next turn I want to get the Amalgam down into the Lotheb, or, or the Shutterwalk, or the Lothebs. The exception would be if they, like, suggested or made it appear as though they were going to, um, combo me out next turn, or even get the... Um, probably just the responsible thing to do to play the Shadow Walk, right? That way it's another turn where they can't get the Rukan down.
probably gonna play the follow-up Shutterwalk next turn. Go with the flow. Since when is Rafflebin responsible? It's this new thing I'm trying out. I don't think it matters that we overdrew cards there. <laughs> ah! It's just kind of nuts now. Now we can go bird and do amalgam. And that'll be pretty easy. There's no more room for cards in my hands. The so, let's keep the ice fishing, pitch everything else. Alright, I mean, we got a Murloc draw again. It's kind of what we can expect from the deck. A mistake would be great here, unlucky. Clownfish into Ravager could be good. Will we be accidentally hitting Legend? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I've got a deck queued up that I don't think is going to do that great, so... Any Florgles? No. What do you think about Questline Druid? It's probably the best Druid deck now, because it was less reliant on the Twig. Run. Twig was obviously that still very good for can. the deck, because it was a pretty stupidly broken card with uh, Instrument Tech. But uh, the, the deck just kind of got some very good cards, like Spread the Word. You can probably just go back to, like, uh, Oaken Summon's version. Reverberations in the void. Job done. Makes it objectively worse. Uh, mistake, Amalgam, uh, probably even the Twin Fins. I mean, the Twin Fins probably get better now with the uh, Amalgam Shutterwalk. Um, just like, I don't think you need to get all of the... Uh, um, all of the effects for this deck to be good. I think you can just get a handful and it's very good. Beware the shudder walk, my son. The jaws that bite the claws that catch. Beware the one amalgam, the accordion honk and cymbal crash. Thank you, Kali. Please give me a quick one. See, this is why it's much worse. <laughs> Turn we go here. So it will be here. Blurgle talks. Do I have the hand space for that? I think I have to I'm just like. Coming, coming. Or I could go here. Yeah, that seems wise. So we can probably just play this right now. So we go Scargill. Then we can play like several more Murlocs. 
ideally including the Flurgle Tux. Actually, I love that poem. Was that the uh, Lewis Carroll? I want the man. I think this is like the old Corb list. Oh my god, we drew it. Pretty good turn. Next turn, I can trade off some of these or just like play a mistake into. Well, never mind. Rockgill is actually run pretty frequently in the Murloc uh, Shutterwalk Shaman, so it is just a denser, um, or a version with a more dense set of uh, minion types for the sake of Amalgam, but like you don't have to go this route, you don't have to add the Amalgams, you don't have to add the mistakes, like they, you can get a pretty good build of this deck, and still include the one Amalgam band without going this hard. Uh, unfortunately, we might actually get Legend. <laughs> Thank you to Legendary supporters Battlefly, Brian Huynh, Fizzle Jizzix, Justice Crater, Kali Alkali, Cathandrian, Lilu, Nate Drex, Saga, Shadow1TV, and Sognisman. 